and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm be going over what you should be doing with your coins right now during the playoffs promo. Now, as you guys know, the playoff promo just came out today, and you guys are going to ask me. I already know this question is coming, so I'm making a video for it already. You guys are going to ask me which player should I get? Should I spend my coins? Should I go all in? Should I should I stay? I'm gonna go over the, eight, the 12 players plus the master with you guys real quick. I'm not gonna go over their stats or anything. I'm just gonna like reference them because obviously the, my 10:30 video, you guys are gonna see everything. You guys are gonna already know. But I'm gonna reference going over these cards, kind of telling you guys who I think you should pick up, who I think you should wait on, who I think's bait. Kind of just giving you guys my quick overview of what you should be doing with your coins at this point in the point in time. Because remember, the Team of the Year promo does come out shortly after, as well as the Super Bowl and the NFL Honors, so we don't want to waste all the coins right now. I'm going to let you guys know what, I should, what you should be doing, how much to save after this playoffs, and kind of what you should be spending on right now. Now guys, before we get into the video, don't forget to go down below, smash that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. We're so close to 17k, you guys have went crazy with it. We get another two, 300 subscribers yesterday, we're already at almost 16.6. Guys, can we hit 17k by the end of the week? All you guys gotta do to help with the cause is subscribe to the channel. And what really helps, guys, is that like button. You guys have been going crazy. I've never gotten this many likes consistently like that, guys. If you guys are part of Noti Gang, Noti Gang's gotta stay strong. Noti Gang's gotta pop it every day and smash the like button. Can we get 50 likes in this video in the first five minutes? Everyone right now watching, spam the like button, and then hopefully maybe we can get 500 likes on this video there on after. So thank you guys for all that. Comment down below if you need any help. Now let's get into this video. So as you guys do know, Kevin Bayard came out yesterday, Stephon Gilmore, Tremaine Edmonds, Deshaun Watson, Daniel Hunter, and Drew Brees, Brandon Brooks, Marshawn Lynch, Devontae Adams, Ronnie Stanley, and Travis Kelsey. Now guys, who do I think are the stayaways when it comes to protecting your coins? Kevin Bayard, for sure, is a stayaway in my opinion. Now the zone's amazing. The zone is amazing, but I think I'd rather have a Sean Taylor, much better speed, a little bit more height, way better hit power, that's just my personal opinion. Stephon Gilmore, I'd love to have him. In the right scheme, with the right team, he could be a monster. But based on a regular team, not powered up, not chemmed up, he's going to be a little too slow for my liking. Now, Deshaun Watson, had he had, he had a power-up card, he probably would have been the best quarterback in the game. But he does not get a power-up card, which kind of hurts him. Then we got Tremaine Edmonds, really good middle linebacker. Nothing out of the ordinary when it comes to linebackers, though. So, out of that, out of that bunch of four right there that I just named, I think Stephon Gilmore would be the only one. I'd maybe recommend if you power him up and have him on the right team. Now, Daniel Hunter. He's solid. Great athleticism. I think he's one of the guys you might want to pick up, but I don't think he's like a long-term guy on your team, which is the only reason I advise against him. Drew Brees, again, decent at best. I don't think he's insane. Not good speed. You really need speed this year. Again, Drew Brees is not a guy that I'm really recommending. Brandon Brooks. Solid right guard. I don't think I'd spend all the coins on him, though. Up to you guys. Marshawn Lynch, way too slow. For my liking comparisons, the other running backs right now. Devontae Adams, way too slow. Ronnie Stanley, great left tackle. Travis Kelsey, I'd rather have Tony G. And D Ford is a monster, but the block shed reminds me of Joey Bosa. So I think that covers up the players. Now let's get into the rest of this. So, as far as players go, guys, so far, as far as these 12 playoff players, I'm not feeling many of them as a long term option. Remember what I told you guys in the beginning? If you head over to the store real quick, eh, actually, I don't need to, eh, yeah, head over to the store. So, if you guys remember what I was telling you guys about, the playoff promo is like the awkward middle space between zero chill and the rest of the game. I like the playoff promo, it's fun. Tons of solos to play, plenty of fun things to do, but the players they give us aren't end game. Like Devonta Adams at 90 speed is not end game. None of these cards on this list will be end game. The difference is, is that in about a week team, the years gonna come out, they're gonna have 98 overall, 97, 96 more than likely. Those cards powered up and chemed up can reach 98, 99. So those cards will be end game, I promise. Like last year I played Madden, I played Madden 19 to the end, I played almost all Maddens to the end. In Madden 19, I'm telling you guys, the card you guys see right there, the card you guys saw on my team from last year that I made to the end of the year with, Team of the Year cards, were one of the most players on my team, for the most part. Now, you can replace, now what you replace Team of the Year with, the only way you replace Team of the Year with are going to be more or less Ultimate Legends, more or less the final Legends they drop, which is typically the Ultimate Legends, some of the Legends are at the end, they might be higher overalls, and a few LTDs. NFL Honors cards, as well as some Easter promo type cards, and maybe like some of the, the I mean the end of the year stuff's insane, but not many people play that long. But the point is, is that for the most part, these cards aren't going to be end game. Team of the Year is going to replace them very quickly, as well as NFL Honors and Super Bowl. These cards won't last long. I barely had any playoff cards on my team last year. So as you guys see right here, a lot of these cards are similar stat-wise to the playoff players. 
they're going to be cheaper and these cards you won't have to do there's not as much risk these playoff cards are going to be pretty expensive initially because they're brand new cards i really wouldn't recommend buying them i'd wait at least wait a week if you really guys if you're a budget team right if you're like more of a budget team and you can't just go all in and buy the best cards wait till team of the year drops in a week and a half and then go ahead and pick up these playoff cards for cheaper don't buy them now because if you buy them now I probably, almost every team of the year card will be better than this card and team of the year covers every position in the game with even sometimes a few at each position so you have to imagine that every value of those cards can go down as you guys can see just by info 100 and stuff they bring themselves down because they're multiple at each position so imagine what it's going to look like when team of the year drops and has a better card ever like literally it's it's madden it's one of the ten commandments of madden a new card comes out at the same position that's a better overall better stats thy lower card will drop I'm telling you, Team of the Year is going to blow us away. And then right when Team of the Year is kicking his gear, Super Bowl, and then the NFL Honors. I really don't think the playoffs promo is a way to invest your coins in. Now, if you have investments to make, like you see a good way to make coins, go ahead and do it. But I don't think it's a promo where you were like, oh, I'm going to pick up Ronnie Stanley, Devontae Adams, D. Ford, Brandon Brooks Lynch. I don't think it's one of those promos. Like I said, at best case scenario, I think maybe you pick up Gilmore, Powder and Kendall, but even then he's kind of still too slow. Daniel Hunter's crazy athletic, which is one of the reasons why he could be kind of a long term option on your team. Although I don't know if he's going to get many cards in the future. But I really don't think the playoff problem was worth the spending of the coins. Now, the, the Masters are different. The Masters are a different story. For the Masters, we've got Terrell Owens and Champ Bailey. Now, Terrell Owens fully powered up and chemmed up. You can get him to about a 94 speed powered up, not without sprinter and everything. 94 speed, 99 catch and traffic, high, high route running. Now, my opinion, though, when it comes to this Terrell Owens, I think I'd still rather just stick with old Randy Moss. Now, it's nothing against Terrell Owens, but I really don't think that, like, I just don't think many of these playoff cards are upgrades. Like, you're going to get, you're probably going to get Randy Moss on a discount at this point because of the fact that Terrell Owens just came out. Randy Moss, let alone, he's faster than Owens. He has similar catching to Owens and similar route running to Owens. Now, Owens is a little better catch, a little bit route running, but the speed, the jumping, the height, and the price, I think I think you're gonna much rather have Randy Moss. And I think Randy Moss is a little longer term option because Randy Moss will definitely get the next ultimate legend when wide receiver ultimate legend type cards are coming out. Now, as far as the next one, which is Champ Bailey, he is one of the guys that I think the player probably should invest in. Now I think he's one of the guys you should spend your coins on. Champ Bailey as a whole has 94 speed and 94 excel. Powered up and chemmed up, he's gonna have 95 speed, and you could even get him to like a 96, 97 with sprinter and stuff. Now let's check out the cornerback market real quick so you guys can kind of have an idea of what you're working with. So Champ Bailey is going to be Deion Sanders V2. I'm telling you guys, Champ Bailey is going to be a monster. Let's see, who should we compare him to? I, th I think Deion, I think Mel Blunt and Deion Sanders are where I'm going to want to compare. So look at my look at my Deion right here on the right. Champ Bailey is going to have just about the same speed as Deion. Just about. He's going to have similar, about the same excel. So um, he's actually going to have the same agility. He's going to be a higher overall. They're going to have. He's going to have way better. No, he's going to have the same man, same zone, actually. Better man, but same zone, and way better press. Champ Bailey is pretty much Deion Sanders that can press. So imagine if you have Deion Sanders on one side, and then Deion Sanders that can press on the other side. I'm telling you, this, this is going to be a crazy duo if you could pick up Champ Bailey. So I think, as far as the playoff problem goes, who do you want to invest in? I think Champ Bailey is a great card to pick up and add on your squad. And remember, he's going to be endgame. He's looking pretty endgame as it is, and you're going to be able to get him on either a theme team or you can eventually get him as Ultimate Legend. So he's gonna, I think Champ Bailey is one of the endgame cards from the playoff promo, as well as Daniel Hunter and Gilmore are good, but I don't know if I think that any of those are endgame. I think that right now from this promo, the only guy I'm really eyeing down is Champ Bailey. I think Champ Bailey is a card that you can take from this promo, run away with, and really keep going. Now, as far as what you should be, how many coins do I spend on this promo? No more than 700k. No more. Maybe 600k. In my opinion, and that's only because you're getting Champ Bailey, and maybe you're gonna pick up one other player. But if I could, if I could, if Champ Bailey's like a 500k, buy Champ Bailey and get out. And now, what do you want for NFL? What do you want to want for Team of the Year? I think you still want a million coins, so you better have 1.5. Team of the Year is gonna be expensive. Team of the Year typically the worst cards, like the worst cards, like the 95, 96s. Those go for like 350 after like a few weeks, after like two weeks. The middle cards, like 95, 96s. Oh, I said that right. The 97s go for like 450, and then the 98s. And in the beginning, the 90s go for like 700k. I think they'll probably end up being in like the 600k range. It'll be like 600, 500, 400. Probably like the bracketing of it because things have been a little cheaper this year. Now, you're gonna need a lot of coins. If you just pick up 198, you pretty much kill your whole coin stack. If you pick up 294, 95, 96s, you're gonna end up killing your coin stack. So you're gonna want definitely a lot of coins. Team of the year is going to be the best players in each position. So I hope this helps you guys with your coins. Hope you guys have an idea. As far as playoffs, I'm telling you, they're gonna be LTDs, guys. Remember that. They're gonna be LTDs. Weekly performers, those, by all means, you can do what you want with those when the time comes. I will explain them to you as they come, but for now, with the default stuff in this promo, 
I don't think any of them are really worth investing enough. If it fits your team, if it's your favorite player, if you have his power of change, by all means, go ahead. But I'm saying if you're just a generic guy looking to, to make a bang for your buck, I don't think the player promos were going to do it. I think it'll wait for the team of the year. But for the most part, guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, bell boys. Come join the family. Can we get 70k by the end of the week? And like I said, Nodi Gang, all the loyal subs, all the new viewers, subscribe. And if you've been here long enough, make sure to smash the like button. Can we get over 500 likes in this video? Keep smashing the like button, guys. I've had my craziest week on YouTube in my whole YouTube career, view-wise. If you guys keep smashing the like button, I'll keep it up. And comment down below, say what's up. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.